In this video, we will show how to replace all of the boards that are included in this Samsung Plasma TV repair kit. It is recommended to take pictures during the repair process to use as a reference point. Be sure your TV is unplugged. We will start by replacing the power supply board. Disconnect all of the cables on the board. Remove the screws and the board from the chassis. Align the replacement board and install the screws to secure the board to the chassis. Reconnect all of the cables and connections. The next board we are going to replace is the main board. Disconnect all of the cables on the board. Remove the screws and the board from the chassis. Align the replacement board and install the screws to secure the board to the chassis. Reconnect all of the cables and connections. The next board we are going to replace is the main logic control board. Disconnect all of the cables on the board. Remove the screws and the board from the chassis. Align the replacement board and install the screws to secure the board to the chassis. Reconnect all of the cables and connections.
The next board we are going to replace is the X buffer scan drive board. Disconnect all of the cables on the board. This connection is a bit tricky. You will want to be very careful when disconnecting it. Here is a close up on how to remove these cables. There are small teeth that hold the ribbon cable in position. Pull the white tab out, then push down on the ribbon cable to slide it out from under the teeth on the connection. You can see the teeth here after we have removed the cable. Remove the screws and the board from the chassis. Align the replacement board and install the screws to secure the board to the chassis. Reconnect all of the cables and connections. The next board we are going to replace is the Y buffer scan drive board and the XY main board. These two boards are connected together, so we will replace them at the same time. Disconnect all of the cables and connections on both boards. Remove the screws on both boards. Disconnect the boards from each other. Align and connect the replacement boards to each other. Install the screws on both boards. Reconnect all of the cables on both boards. 